Hello everyone, I'm here with another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you um, how to say I think or for other um, subjects you can use you think, she thinks, he thinks and also you will learn how to say according to what somebody thinks or according to what so or so is and you can also use this phrase for like to say in my opinion and other ways uh, so here this video will help you a lot to understand many many phrases and many many sentences as uh, you come across in daily dialogues in movies and other places also for your own use before going through the lesson um, please make sure that you share this video with someone that needs to learn this okay let's go through the lesson here we have the suffix of ja and j According to the uh, harmony of vowels, uh, if we have a, u, o, u, at the last syllable of a word, we will have the suffix ja. And if we have a, e, u, and u, we will have the suffix j. And uh, when we have these suffixes to um, a person, in a subject, or a noun, uh, that will mean that according to whatever comes before this suffix. Okay, let's go through the examples here. Here I have uh, the subject pronouns we have bange sanje onja bizje sizje onlarja i read it again bange sanje onja bizje sizje onlarja i have written i think but um I could have translated to in my idea or in your idea. Uh, by the way, here we have onja, but I have never seen that anybody use this onja for he, she, it and other things. So we have another kind of phrase for this one. Uh, this is that rarely ever may be used. Okay. So let's go to the other part. Okay. Here we have the same meaning in another form. We have bana göre, sana göre, ona göre, bize göre, size göre, onlara göre. As you see, here we have this a and e as a suffix for the subject pronouns and as you see again this suffix has obeyed the um, harmony rule here for e we have a for o we have a for a we have a okay i read it again bana göre which means I think or based on what I think. Sana göre, based on your opinion. Ona göre, based on his opinion or her opinion. Bize göre, we think or according to what we think. Size göre, you think or as you think or based on your opinion. Onlara göre, means they think or based on their opinion these are uh, 
in the meaning level uh, as J and J. Okay, and it, it depends. Um, sometimes you can use this, sometimes you can use the previous uh, form with the suffix. In both cases, uh, the meanings are the same. Sometimes this banagere, because it has two words, might be a little bit more official. Yeah, I can tell that. Okay, so here we have J and Jo. I have underlined uh, the harmony of vowels here obeyed by the suffix, as you see. And these are all here. Bande, bana göre, sence, sana göre, onca, ona göre. Bizce, bize göre, sizce, size göre, onlarca, onlara göre. They are all the same. We can take a note here. And yeah, stop the video, take a note. And we will go to some examples. For example, we have kanunlara göre. Here I have added uh, names. And okay, kanunlara göre means based on the rules. Kitaba göre means according to the book. İslam'a göre according to Islam. Adetlerimize göre according to our traditions. Araştırmalara göre according to the researchers. Okay, I read them again. Kanunlara göre, kitaba göre, İslam'a göre, adetlerimize göre, araştırmalara göre. Okay. Whenever you see these kind of long words, just uh, divide them to Syllables and read them several times, like a det le ri mi ze, a det le ri mi ze, a det le ri mi ze, a det le ri mi ze. Okay, so go faster each time, and you will be able to practice your mind to pronounce it more faster. Okay, we have Sanje with a question. It means, what do you think? What's your opinion? Sanje de mi? It means, do you think the same? Do you also have the same opinion? Sizce öyle mi? Do you think so? This is plural you. Do you think so? Sence de öyle değil mi? It means don't you also think so? Or isn't it so? Don't you think? Like something like this. Sence de öyle değil mi? Bence öyle. It means I think so. Um, these five sentences you may hear a lot, I can tell you. Okay, other examples. Bence olmaz. It means, I think that can't be whatever the matter is. It means that we can't do that or that is not possible. Um, that will not happen. Or, yeah, this is not happening. It's impossible. So and so. Sence 
Bence olur mu? Do you think it is possible? Or do you think it may happen? Whatever it is. Bizce imkansız. It means we think this is impossible. İmkansız means impossible. Sizce nasıl? What do you think? How is it? It means, yeah, what, what's your opinion? How do you find this? Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. When somebody only asks sizce, um, he's asking for um, a confirmation or a disagreement. Uh, but when somebody says sizce nasıl, they want you to say your opinion about how you understand or you, um, I mean, the details about your opinion. Bence güzel. It means, okay. I think it's nice. Bence güzel. Other examples. Bana göre yanlış. Bana göre yanlış. In my opinion, this is wrong. Sana göre doğru olabilir. Sana göre doğru olabilir. It might be right based on your opinion. You may hear these two sentences like following by each other. Like sana göre doğru olabilir, bana göre yanlış. These uh, two usually come together. Uh, okay. Here we have onlara göre saçma olabilir. Onlara göre Saçma olabilir. It means it might be nonsense based on their opinion. Or ridiculous. Bize göre iyi. In our opinion, it's good. Ona göre karar verirsin. Ona göre karar verirsin. Based on that, you may decide. Here, that might be a situation. Uh, this is a, a bit different from uh, other things, but usually the phrase of ona göre means that think about the situation and then decide. Yeah. I hope you're taking notes, guys. And please ask any questions that you have. Kime göre doğru, kime göre yanlış. It means according to whom is this right? And according to whom is this wrong? Like who says it's right, who says it's wrong? Like who are we going to listen to? Somebody says this is right, somebody says it is wrong. So who are we going to listen to? This phrase... Um, means this and you may hear this a lot when you are inside of a discussion or maybe an argument or a meeting or whatever maybe a tv program whatsoever yeah okay we have the same sentence at the bottom but not as a question we have kime göre doğru pardon kimine göre doğru Kimine göre yanlış. Here kimine and kime are the same. Don't worry about this. I just brought them to say that this can be also used instead of this and vice versa. Um, so here we have kimine göre doğru, kimine göre yanlış. It means according to some this is right and according to some this is wrong. Okay. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Remember to... I can tell you, you should memorize these sentences because you will 
uh, hear them a lot, you will come across with these a lot and you are going to use them too. Uh, so make sure that you take notes of this. Please, if you have any questions, write in the comments below. I'm here to answer all of your questions. And um, make sure that you share this video with someone who needs this. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because who knows when the next video is coming. I really don't know because I'm super busy. And I try to uh, make more videos for you. So take care and good luck. And if you uh, don't know any grammar points that I haven't taught yet, it's okay to ask questions about it. Um, and also I will know uh, which part of the grammar and the language you will need the most. And I will go through that. Share your opinions. Have a nice day. Good luck.